Most presenters who have one screen and want to share their PowerPoint slides in a Zoom or Teams meeting full screen so the audience sees it full screen typically will follow this procedure. What they'll do is, I got a Zoom meeting going, what they'll do is they'll go ahead and share their screen, the full screen, so that the full slide screen is going to be seen. And then what they'll do is they'll go to PowerPoint and they'll start up their slideshow. And now it's in full screen and then they can go through their presentation. Why is this a problem? Well, it's a problem because what you've done in sharing your full screen, I'm going to stop the sharing, is that you have shown everybody what was beside your PowerPoint window, this confidential employee salary review. We don't want everybody to see that. But people say, well, Dave, I can't, I can't put the PowerPoint in full screen slideshow mode first because then I'll lose the Zoom controls or the Teams controls. Then I can't share the screen. So I have to share it this way first. Well, in fact, you don't. See, here's the thing. When PowerPoint goes into slideshow mode, it actually opens a second window. So let me go back to PowerPoint here, and I'll put it into slideshow mode. And when I take a look at what windows are open, you'll notice there are two PowerPoint windows. There's the slideshow mode, and there's the regular editing mode. So what we want to do in Zoom or Teams is we want to share the window instead of sharing the screen. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start by putting our PowerPoint presentation into full screen slideshow mode. So we can do it through the button on the bottom or through the slideshow ribbon buttons here or the shortcut key. So I'm just going to use the button here down at the bottom. So I now have this particular PowerPoint presentation running full screen slideshow mode. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Windows tab. What Windows tab does is it takes us to what's known as the timeline view in Windows. And what it does is at the top here is it shows all the open windows that we have. And you can go to any of them by clicking on them. So you move my mouse over to the Zoom meeting window. I'll click on it. Now I'm back to the Zoom meeting and I can use the control. So I'll use the share screen control. And I will select the PowerPoint slideshow window. So in this dialog box, the top row are the screens. Well, I only have one. And then the second row and subsequent rows are windows. So I'm going to select the slideshow window and I'm going to say share. Now it has shared just this window with the attendees. So they didn't see anything confidential. They didn't see anything underneath. Now it's very important. Click on the slides and that returns what's known as operating system focus to the slide. So your keystrokes as I go through the presentation apply to PowerPoint. And when I'm done my presentation, I simply use my normal method of pressing escape to get out. And you'll notice what Zoom does. Zoom automatically stops sharing the window because the window isn't open anymore. And Zoom gives you a notice here, screen sharing has stopped as the shared window is closed. So even at the end of the presentation, nobody can see anything confidential that was on my screen because the window got closed and the sharing got closed. Now in Teams, it stops the sharing as well. It just doesn't give you the message, but it does stop the sharing. So if you only have one screen and you're used to sharing your PowerPoint presentation in full screen slideshow mode, and you've been sharing your full screen first in Zoom or Teams before starting your PowerPoint presentation, I recommend you use the method I've shown you here in this video so that you don't have the potential of showing confidential information that's on your screen to everybody in the meeting. You only show them the slides, and then when you're done, the slides stop showing, and you always protect yourself. And it's a much more seamless experience for the attendees. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.